Hi everyone, today I want to discuss with you education in sales positions, especially in IT. And prior to giving any tips and tricks on what you need and what type of education works and doesn't work, let me give you an example of my story and how I got a job. And then I will start to tell you my opinion on what I think you would need to get into a, a sales job in IT. So my story is I finished high school in Canada and then I went to a two year program in marketing management. I thought I wanted to go into marketing, branding, advertising, lead generation and things like that. So that is why I went in into that program, but it was quite general because it was general business. So they did give you a good foundation of math, communication skills and projects on marketing, marketing products and uh, what, to, what to price products at and, and so forth. The interesting thing about that program is you get to kind of learn from someone in college that has that similar business experience and maybe they've retired and now they're teaching it. It was really great to learn it. And then I kind of was bored of education, unfortunately. And then I decided to start to apply to jobs. I was not even thinking to go into sales. I really wanted something in marketing, but the jobs in Canada in marketing at that time, 10 years ago, it was very hard to get a job with the salary I wanted because marketing, unfortunately, does not pay like a sales position does. After that, I ended up going to an event and I networked with someone from a, a large corporation and they said they were looking for junior salespeople. And at that time, I was in a field that I didn't like, doing a job that I didn't like, and I said, why not? And I applied for the job. I applied for the job and my education, it did say they wanted a degree on the, on the job description. I did not have a degree, but I thought I would apply anyways and hope to get that interview to convince them why I needed that job so badly. Um, it turns out I got the interview. They did ask me about my degree and, and if I was not going to get one and if I thought I would get one in the future. And I said, I'm not sure. And I was just very honest to say what my education was, but I did tell them why I wanted the job, why I would be perfect for the job. And then, you know, two, two, three weeks later, I ended up getting the job and had really intensive training on site to learn everything there was to, to know about sales. And I spent about a year in this junior position. And after that one year, and you have that good foundation at a company, and maybe your salary is a little less just because you're in that learning phase, then after that one year, you can kind of branch out into other types of sales. So that is what I did. I ended up taking um, maybe two or three promotions in that first three years, just because I really enjoyed sales, I really worked at it, and loved to talk to customers. So I wouldn't say um, education, you should throw out the window, if you're a student and you have the opportunity to go to university or even college, absolutely go. It is a great foundation to learn that business skill. Um, you're not going to learn how to talk to customers in university and college. It's basically project based and, and learning more the psychology of customers, but it doesn't hurt. Let's say now that you are, you know, 10 years, past getting your degree and you took history or you took something that's completely not relevant with business, that's okay as well. The, the biggest thing that companies want to see in sales is your communication skills, how you talk, uh, your questions that you ask in, in the interview, and just your charismatic um, spirit. To be honest, I'm not that charismatic uh, in my personal life away from doing these videos. I'm not one to to be the, the hyper one in the group. But when talking to customers one on one, you need to show empathy, you need to show that you care, you need to show that you'll do anything possible for that customer. And you need to show that you're coachable and say, Hey, I, I don't know everything about sales, but I, I'm here to learn, I can learn it. Um, because if you're not willing to do that, then they're most likely not going to hire you. Now let's say you do have education and you don't know if sales would be the job for you. Well, maybe I'll make another video on the good things about sales and the bad things. But if you have a degree in, in psychology, in business, whether it's college or, or university, um, if you have that experience, 
that will be a great foundation as well for sales because everything has to do with human connection, understanding humans, listening. Typically, I don't need to have a, a math degree. I don't need to be great in science. You just need to be good at listening. It's a hard skill to learn people. It's very difficult, but you, it can be taught because my first year, my first two years, I did not listen to customers that often. I just kind of talked over them Thought, thought I knew what their problems were. And the best thing is just to be silent and listen. So that would be my experience on education. I can't say one size fits all. Um, it's great to have that education on your CV. It will stand out from other candidates, but there are other things that you can do to stand out besides having a degree on your CV. So that would be my opinion on education definitely go if you have the opportunity it's probably the best foundation you'll ever get to start your career and if you're you're you know you're past that or you financially don't have money to do that don't worry the company can teach you how to do sales but you are going to start at a more junior position thank you and i'm curious if you have any experience or have any tips on what education you should do for sales feel free to comment below Thanks for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.